Machine learning is an algorithm that gives a computer program a capability to learn from data and then applying this in other instances of data for classification, prediction or finding best path of action. As we can see in illustration that machine learning algorithms are of four types which is supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning has further classification that mainly includes support vector machine or SVM, linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree and random forests, and neural networks. Unsupervised learning is mainly subcategorized as hierarchical clustering, k-means. In supervised learning, we train our algorithm on training dataset, which contains data with attributes also known as features as well as classification which is also known as target. Algorithm tries to figure out its parameters in iterative way so that it can classify new instance of data. When target values are discrete, we call it classification and algorithm is called classifier. Support vector machine, decision tree and random forests, neural network, clustering are example of classifiers. Spam filter in emails is a perfect example of classifier based supervised learning. When user marks few mails as spam, the classifier learns its pattern which is used to identify spam mails in new incoming mails. We can see in illustration that in training dataset, mails are already labeled as a spam with red tags. Yellow tags are good mails. Once classifier learns this pattern, it is able to classify new mails into spam or no spam. When target values are continuous, we call it prediction and such algorithm is called predictor. Linear regression and logistic regression are example of prediction. Situations like predicting price, weight, mileage, etc. are perfect example of this. In unsupervised learning, training data is unleveled or unclassified. Algorithm explores some similarities between instances of data and then it tries to group them on its own. Hierarchical clustering K means algorithm in this category. These algorithms are good for anomaly detections. Fraud detection systems are perfect example of this. In semi-supervised learning, algorithm classifies on its own to some extent and then also need little quantity of labeled datasets. Small quantity of labeled dataset in conjunction with large pool of unlabeled data can increase learning accuracy to great extent. For example, when we upload our group photo on social media sites, then it groups different faces on its own, but it need your input to label it. In this way, we can consider it as a combination of supervised and unsupervised learning. Reinforcement learning is neither classifier nor prediction based algorithm, rather its learning system is called agent. Agent is able to observe or interpret its environment on trial and error basis and tries to find its path of action. Policies are established to reward positive and negative events and objective of agent is to find a way with best reward count. Robotic vacuum cleaners, video games, etc. are best day-to-day -day example of this type of learning. Main challenge with this type of learning is that learning is not that efficient as it is in supervised learning. Learning process becomes even more challenging when real environment is complex one. In illustration, we can see how a robotic vacuum cleaner finds its way avoiding negative rewards and choosing positive rewards. In coming videos, we will discuss each sub-classification of each type of machine learning in details. Thank you.